Hey going guys, welcome back to the garage. Uh, we're gonna work on the uh, landing gear. do the rear legs at the moment so these are going to come up up through here and down so I'm going to work on the uh, the actual mechanism to lift the uh, gear up and down so it should be an interesting day it should be good and uh, I've got the front one that we're going to I'm going to work on today as well with this front suspension. So this landing gear, uh, the Chrome Ollie, uh, it is super strong stuff. The actual tensile strength of this is uh, 95,000 pounds per square inch, so more PSI. Yield strength is uh, 75,000 PSI. So, uh, and knee elongation 10 to uh, 12%, I think it was, 10 to 12% uh, elongation, so super strong steel. This is actually going to take most of the force uh, of the landings. It's quite heavy, heavy wall, it's a 4mm wall steel there, 3mm here. They're actually going to slide in together uh, to create one leg. So um, the internal one's not going to go all the way down. It'll go down about three quarters of the way just for uh, the support. Uh, the last little bit is fine. It's more just a bit of weight saving as well. Um, just to, I've done some calculations on it and um, it'll take it if I only go three quarters of the way down. So uh, yeah, it should be, should be pretty good as it, as it falls down or drops onto the runway, uh, these legs should go up a little bit and flex and um, take a bit of the, that uh, force out. These wheels I'm running as well, I'm running these wheels less than 20 PSI on these tires. So as you come down onto the ground, they're gonna take a fair bit of uh, the force out of it as well and smoothen the ride out a fair bit. So. It, uh, it should work. on the ends of the uh, landing gear. Now I've just got to slide this tube. So this, this tube here, this is the internal one and uh, it should go straight through. All right, so straight through until it lines up with these bolt hole. These are only temporary bolts, I'm just using these until I can get uh, some from Aircraft Spruce. So back into it again today, it's Sunday, uh, working on that front uh, landing gear still. So I'll just uh, show you what is going on. So we've got here... This is the uh, main suspension for the, the front of the uh, landing gear. It's actually got full adjustment here so you can uh, adjust the spring preload on this. Uh, so uh, it'll give me some nice adjustment uh, just to dial it in. So uh, it's 
it's basically going to go like that with the wheel down there and it will pull up into the actual uh, hole here. So I've created a hole so that it pulls up and into, into there. It'll be boxed out. What I've got on the top, I've got this on the top. I've got that on the side. This will pull in. This, this gap here will pull in once I put the bracket on. And in inside here, in here is actually going to be um, a welded chromoly bracket, which will stiffen the whole lot up and tie the whole lot together. And uh, mount that top strut too. So that's how it's all going to work at the moment. Okay, so here is the uh, front nose gear set up at the moment. So this here, this is going to be on a linear slide, which will actually pull the actual nose gear up. So if you can imagine, that'll be sliding back into there. That will pull the nose up and down. So in here, um, I need to brace in here and out to here, out to this section here is where um, I'm actually going to have uh, a chromoly uh, welded uh, framework in here. So I can have a chrome ollie welded framework in here to support the top of that. We'll also attach that linear slide in there. Um, it's going to be a castering nose wheel. So uh, basically it's going to go in like that. And up and out of the water. So it's well out of the water. And uh, then inside here, this is all going to be boxed out so that um, with a drain. So once, if water goes in there, it's going to drain out. So uh, yeah, that's how it's all going to work. On here, it's just going to be a pivot point on here. with a um, aluminium fork uh, bent up for around there with an attachment to here. So quite simple. I just want to keep it simple but structurally really strong. This is all chrome ollie. Um, this is, these are 10 mil aluminium brackets but uh, there's a few more holes to drill in here. but. It's only the start of the structure. It's not. Um, it's not the full amount. So I'm going to have some uh, plate in through here to pick up this point as well. So getting there. All right. So I've just finished welding this uh, little uh, tag here to uh, pick up. The actual slide mechanism. So that uh, chromoly chromoly plate with the chromoly tube. Just left, waiting for it to cool down. So this is going to actually be welded on the front of there, which is on the front of the hull. And uh, I've got this here. The suspension is actually going to be up like that so it's yeah uh, the suspension is going to go 
and disappear into this uh, little thing here. So that's going to be on a linear slide. So it'll it'll come out and uh, sit there and then be pulled back in to actually pull up the the front nose gear and that's what that little fitment little fitting is so that's on here and the slide tube will actually go into there and bolt and then uh, it'll be a linear slide to pull that in and out um, it'll slightly go over center so that this this front suspension spring will actually go slightly over center so that uh, when it's in the down position it uh, there'll be no force on the actual slide whatsoever it'll all be taken up in here which is why I've got chromoly framework all the way so this is all tack just tacked together at the moment um, but uh, there's chromoly frame through here to t attach it to the uh, hull plus I've also got uh, these real heavy brackets in here so it's also going to have a washer either side just to hold that but uh, that's how it's all coming together so this is going to actually be a castering nose wheel So those brackets are actually uh, attached inside here with uh, multiple bolts, multiple A and 3 bolts. And uh, there's going to be a top on it as well. I'm going to move, got to move this uh, hot down there for now. So then, so this here will actually line up square and hold the whole lot square. So it's going to allow a fair bit of um, force. I'm also going to have uh, some uh, angle riveted through here to provide additional support through there all right so uh, i've just finished working on the uh, nose gear today so haven't finished it but uh this is how it's all coming together here's all chrome ollie tubing it's going to be uh castering uh for the front wheel I've got a strut here where I can adjust my preload tensions on the spring there. Uh, so I just undo the lock nut there and uh, tighten it down if I need any more preload. So this uh, this section here, I've got I've got a web that's going to go in here as well to stiffen it up. I've also going to run to to give it additional strength. So from the bottom of the hull here, right up, I'm going to run a um, uh, inch by inch aluminium angle just to really stiffen that up um, for any uh, down forces that this spring is going to put on, any loads. Should be able to take a massive drop once it's all finished. So this, um, this is just the top section, haven't fitted that yet, but uh, just, in, just in here. So this is the um, re retract setup that I'm going with, just keeping it really simple. It's, there's that little fitting in there that I've slid in. Now I haven't finished this, so I've just duct taped here, just so that um, I just wanted to try out, see how it goes. So. Really, it's, it's so simple, it's just 
pulls up. So you just pull back on it and it pulls pulls the gear up. And then you want to let it down it just so obviously it'll all be greased up um, once it's all finished, but uh, basically it gives you the, the whole principle of the idea. So I'll finish that off next week. Got the uh, the back gear in as well, just with some temporary axles. So I've still got a still got to work on the um, the over center mechanical section of that, but uh, I've got it all worked out. To make up the bits and pieces um, out of 10 mil bar just to pull these pull these in and out. A handle. I think I'm going to go out and handle. I was thinking about electric actuators, but I just want to keep it simple. Um, so I'm going just a, a lever in the cab to pull up these uh, rear landing gear and also the front one. Here's the cabin frame. It's only tacked together at the moment. Uh, these wing pickup points. Uh, I've actually got on the back here, there's a pivot point here. And there'll be a pivot point down the bottom here where the wing strut goes to. This will actually be a complete folding wing on both sides. Uh, so it will actually it will actually fold straight back on its struts. So undo the front front bolt here, undo the front strut, and just swing it back. So I just want to be able to put it on a trailer, fold those wings completely back so they're just going to fold back sitting on their struts and uh, on a trailer and can take it and drop it in at any boat ramp uh, so no airport required so that's the whole the whole plan of this one that's what how i'm going to go so the pivot point for that wing this is say so that's going to be the uh, rear spar the front spar of the wing this whole wing will actually just pivot back like that and uh, sit there, go up on a trailer and uh, take it to wherever you want to take off from and uh, drop it in the water even at a boat ramp and uh, yeah, should work well. Alright, so last video we were talking about uh, pickup points, the vertical pickup points uh, that I was working on for the cabin frame. Uh, so this is it here, I've actually uh, put together the cabin frame here so these these go through pick up pick up on these brackets and uh, tie into the whole back section of the, the tail and the front the front here is going to be tied in to the bottom fuselage um, boat section it's going to have some brackets to hold that in so if you like these videos uh, hit that like subscribe and ring that bell and uh, follow along on the build and i will catch you on the next one